Hi everyone, George Samuels here, Mad Loans, and today I'm gonna to talk about equity and how people use the equity to buy their second, third, and fourth house. But first I wanna explain what is equity. Let's say your house is worth a million dollars. If my house is worth a million dollars and I owe half a million dollars, I owe half. Or I would have a 50% loan of what my house is worth, or 50% LVR, loan to value ratio. That's what we use in banking world, mortgage broking world, pretty much with every deal we do. What is the LVR? Now banks allow you generally to go up to 80% LVR. So on the same example, if my house is worth a mil, and I owe half a mil, 50%, I'm allowed to go to that 80% mark. 80% of a mil is 800 grand. If I owe 500 grand, I'm allowed to go to 800 grand, my equity is 300 grand. Now, what can I use that 300 grand for? Well, I can in fact go buy another property. Let's say I go buy another property for $500,000. Remember, the banks generally want you to put a 20% deposit down. 20% of 500 is 100. Fees, like stamp duty and so on when I buy, say it's 25, 30 grand. So I would need, in turn, 20% deposit of 500, which is 100, plus fees 30, 130. Because I've got a house worth a million and I have 300 grand equity, I'm actually allowed to go borrow 100% plus fees. Again, my house of my property is worth a million. I owe 500,000. I buy another property worth 500,000 and I wanna borrow 530. The bank looks at all these properties and go, George, your assets are worth X and your loans are Y. Let's look at all these together and what is my LVR? As you can see, it's under 80%. Because under 80%, you've just bought another property with putting no down payment down. That's how people use equity to buy their second, and then third, and then fourth properties. Hope you guys learned something today. If you want to work out how much equity you have, please reach out to Mad Loans, and I'd love to show you. Thank you very much. Bye.